guys i remember doing a video telling people that the anc at gnu the one created by president Sir ramaphosa it was created to swallow all the other political parties in order to keep the anc in power many people didn't didn't agree with me and i told people that political parties like the da they will survive they won't be swallowed by the anc because they stand for something and they disagree with the anc even within the gnu so they will survive they won't get swallowed but these other small political parties patriotic alliance of mr katie mckenzie you can see even how they are moving that they have been swallowed by the gnu and if you don't agree with me i have a confession from the president himself agreeing that the gnu was created to swallow all of them take a listen we have significant ideological and political differences with some of the parties exactly what we had in 1994. In 1994, we went into a government of national unity with a party that represented apartheid, our oppressors, and we agreed that to take South Africa forward, we would work together with them. Today, we are in a GNU with nine other parties, and some of those parties we have major ideological differences with. We knew that there were fundamental issues on which we differed, and that were bound to bring about tensions and strains in the government of national unity. But we also know from many decades of experience that the ANC comrades has the strategic clarity and the political capacity to work alongside a wide range of those in pursuit of progressive goals. Ngoba asibasabi, arebasabi, ibilerere abate wozani, sizao sebenza nani, sipinde sin sebenze nani. That is how we work. Ultimately, the Jew and you comrades should not be judged by the political orientation of the parties that constitute this administration. But it should be judged by the impact that it will make on the lives of the poor and working people of South Africa. You hear him, right? So in a way, it was strategy for the ANC. Some will agree. Some will say it's an excuse what he's saying. But let's say what he's saying is true. But we still doubt the credibility of what he's saying. But we say it's true. Let's go with the narrative that what the president is saying is true. Do you disagree with what he said? Do you think these other political parties will survive after the GNU as individual political parties? The UDMs, the IFPs, the Patriotic Alliance, the Rising Zanzis, the Bossas. Do you think they will survive as individual political parties? The world. President Ramaphosa is right. The GNU, he was calling them, keep your enemies closer. He was keeping his enemies closer. That's why, according to him, he invited everyone to come to the party. MK party rejected. The EFF wanted to join, but they had, they didn't want to join with the, uh, with the DA. So somehow, because they had uh, their own uh, requirements and their own standards and boundaries, they were rejected too. Action SA is not within the GNU. So, these three political parties, of course, even ATMs and other ones, they are still participating 
and keeping their independence outside of the GNU. And they're getting popular and popular each and every day, whether for negativity or positivity. MK Party, EFF, these outside political parties from the GNU, they continue thriving. Look at the ones who are within the GNU. They're not retaining their individualism. It's like they're pushing the mandate of the ANC. They are working on behalf of the ANC. They are freelancers of the ANC, pushing the ANC message because somehow they were given ministerial positions. But this is resisted by the DA. That's why the DA is still keeping its independence. They still represent the DA. They still push the flag of the DA. They still push the flag of the DA even when the mandate is about the GNU, but they still represent the DA. The rest of these other political parties, They've given up on their own political parties for the government ministerial positions. So do you disagree with the president, Sir Ramaphosa, that the GNU was not just to work with them, it was also to work on them. Work on them, it means to destroy them from within. It means to get to know them, their weaknesses from within, their strengths from the within, their opportunities. Okay, these ones, they're too opportunistic. Throw them a blue light. Give them a ministerial positions destroy them with that. He was keeping his enemies closer. I have my own disagreement with the president, Sir Ramaphosa. Ideological differences I have there and there. But with this being said, you would say he's a master negotiator. He's a master visionary for him to have envisioned this and currently executing it. And now it's coming to light. These political parties, there is no individuality. They are representing the ANC. They are working for the ANC. They are extras in the ANC ministerial positions. Even though they are representing their political parties, they are working for the ANC. The ANC hired them to come and work in government. So they account to the ANC. They report to the ANC. The ANC is responsible for them. So they have to behave according to the standards given to them by the ANC. So the ANC has them by the balls. The ANC is in charge of them. The ANC government releases a budget for their department to fully function. Releases a mandate according to how the ANC wants it for these people's department to function. If you don't agree with me, if you think these people are keeping their individuality, why? I get the basic minister position and the basic education minister is with the DA. But the mandate was given by the ANC. The Bella Bill is progressive when it comes to the policies of the ANC. It doesn't favor the policies of the DA. So clearly the mandate on everything that is happening in this department comes from the ANC. The Bella Bill is a perfect example. Why didn't the DA create their own bill that will favor them? Because they are the, they are the ministers of that department. Clearly, I'm right when I say they are working for the ANC and they're not having any individuality. So it is what it is. You can, you can disagree if you want, you can agree if you want, but today I presented you the proof from the president himself, agreeing. Thank you very much.